Hey guys, welcome to Psychology of Religion. It's Tim. What's up? Most of y'all already know me, but some of you don't. I do have my PhD in social psychology, but don't call me doctor. This little video I made just to help you out with uh, using the course. So basically before I go any further, one of the things that drives me crazy is resolution. So for all of my videos, if you hover at the bottom, you can click on that gear tool and make it an HD. It's not 4K yet, but at least 1080p. And then there's also closed captioning. So let me get off of all this. What I really wanna talk about today a little bit is the syllabus for this class. There are five exams, and there's also a term project. Don't let that freak you out, but I love Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I think if I can show it right, I have his tattoo right here. It's one of my first tattoos, but I was just talking to someone the other day about it. It's one of my favorite books. So I'll get into that later, but as far as the class goes, the five exams are right in here. Modules one through five. Jonathan is down here. I'll wait for a minute to talk about that. Now today you're already doing module zero, getting started because you're watching using this course right now. So the only other thing I want you to do today is to go out and take the syllabus acknowledgement. That lets me know you're alive and kicking out there and I've read through everything. Okay, so for each exam, for instance, on exam two, Freud, Young, and Campbell, I have the topics. And there'll be reviews and stuff like that that I'll explain a little bit later. Now in Canvas, it looks like this. So today I want you to go take this and you'll be done with module zero. Now besides that, because of the COVID, I built the second half of the class first last year and I'm scrambling to do modules one and two, but here they are. Okay, and so whenever you click on this, you can start to watch my video lectures. Now I do, I think if I show this, I have my own YouTube channel, but you don't have to go straight to YouTube, but here are all my lectures for this class on the YouTube channel. But let's say the second half of the class, which I already built, video lectures for exam three, if you click on this right here, it'll come up like this and see so you can watch a video lecture on Gordon Allport or Abraham Maslow. Sometimes I break them in two because they get a little bit long. Now, besides that, I think I have on here the review. And so as far as the review goes for each exam, I think this is the most important. A lot of you've already had me. I think you should print this out or follow along with this so that when you watch the Gordon Allport lecture, for instance, you'll know it's like, oh, Tim thinks you should like focus on these things. And oh yeah, what were the four things he went through? So the review is basically an outline of everything I think is important for the test. Hint, hint. And as far as the tests go for this class, there are multiple choice matching, and there's one short essay on each test, but you get a choice and it's only 10 points, so that's only 10% of your grade. Okay, so hopefully I said everything I was supposed to right there. Okay, as far as the Jonathan project, if you come down at the bottom, module six, and click on this, it will look like this. So there are going to be four sections to your paper and you can read through, but I want you to divide it into four sections. And so for sections one through three, I want you to pick three different theories. First of all, I want you to define the theory. For instance, if you use Bodhisattva, I'll get into the Bodhisattva later, later but you would define what a Bodhisattva is. Secondly, which is the most important thing, I want you to go into the book and get quotes and examples that show it's like, hey, here's where jo uh, Jonathan is being a bodhisattva and here's how he's being it. And so I want you to explain why your concept is at work in Jonathan. I hope that just made sense. OK, so that's um, the first three sections. The fourth section is about you. Because at the first of the book, I think it says to the real Jonathan Livingston Seagull that lives within us all. It's about your journey through life. This is why I pick it. It's about being here on Earth. It's not just about birds and flocks, etc. It's about how you relate to other people and how sometimes they inhibit your spiritual growth. OK, so if I can erase a bunch of this crap, so 25 percent apiece, you know, four times 25, I think is 100. But there is due on May 14th because of COVID. We've extended the semester, I think, to the 21st. So that's one week before the end of the semester. Now, I do have a rubric. I know you can't read this, but 
Each definition is five points. Three times five is 15. <clears throat> so explaining why with uh, quotes and examples, that's 20 points for those first three sections. The last section is 25 points, okay? So that's like, you know, how does it relate to your life? That one should be easy, you know, because you should be able to relate it to your life and you, there's no whatever, you can go any direction you want to with that. Okay, so if there's any questions about the rubric, please contact me. Now, as far as today goes, I want you to, like I said, go do the syllabus acknowledgement. And then you can probably start watching the video lectures for exam one. They won't be all done, but I'm racing to get some of them done. Okay, if you have any questions, I want you to email me or give me a call. And also, I want you to at least go out and get Jonathan. If you look on that, I forgot to mention this. If you look there, I have a link where you don't have to buy JLS, Jonathan Livingston Siegel. But it's only going to be about 4 or $5. And it's going to take you about 25 minutes to read it. This is Tim's favorite kind of book because I hate reading. <laughs> it has a lot of pictures of birds and it has very few words. But it's very zen. And that's why I love Jonathan. Okay, so... Once again, take the syllabus acknowledgement, try to go get Jonathan Livingston Seagull, or just use the link that I have. You can just read it right on your phone or your computer. I wish we were in person. It totally sucks that the COVID is here. But anyway, and I look forward to a great semester, and I will see you on the next lecture.